Navigating the 3D viewport area in Blender. The main part of the default Blender screen is the 3D viewport, which has a cube in it when you start. This area has a lot of stuff in it, and these are called regions, in case anybody ever asks you. It has two menu bars up above, sort of like its own top bar. And as a matter of fact, there is a menu on the, the, the lower left one of those. It has a, uh, a toolbar on the left, which has a bunch of tools, which I hope to teach you how to use later. And over in the upper right area, it has a 3D widget and several buttons for navigating around your object. And that's what we'll talk about today. Older versions of Blender required having a three-button mouse to navigate around your model. Those tools are still there. And as a matter of fact, they're, they're sort of documented in the uh, status bar down here. But in the new version 2.8 and above versions of Blender, you can navigate around your model even if you accidentally superglue your index finger to the left mouse button on your mouse. This also makes Blender on a laptop with, with a touchpad much easier to use. Not the superglue. Don't do that. If you want to look at your model from different angles, start by clicking on the red, green, and blue circles with letters in them. Like X views your model down the X axis. Y views your model from the side down the, the Y axis, and Z views your model from above. You can view your, your model from any random angle by grabbing the gray area of the widget and uh, moving the cursor around until you have the model oriented the way you want it. You may uh, have noticed that these axes are labeled X, Y, and Z, red, green, and blue. And then on the opposite end, there's a circle there that when you wave your cursor over it, it lights up and says negative X. It means look at the object from the negative X axis, which is looking at it from the opposite side of the positive X axis. And if you are looking at it from one side and you want to flip it over and look at it from the other side, you can click the, the red dot again when it's centered like this and it flips the model around and shows it to you from the opposite side. Underneath the widget, there's a magnify icon, and if you uh, uh, left-click on that and then move the mouse up and down while holding the left button down, it will zoom in and out on, of your model. Here, let's look at it from an angle and do that again, zooming in and out. Underneath that, there's a little hand, which is the move icon. You grab that and then drag your mouse with the left mouse button held down left and right and up and down and you can look at your model from different angles. Uh, it's sort of like rotating, but it's not. See, you can rotate and then you can move sideways or left and right. There's this camera icon, which uh, looks at your model from the camera. If you recall, Every model in Blender comes with this camera, and the camera icon rotates around until you're looking at the object from that camera. I uh, don't have much use for the camera icon. You may also have noticed that when you look at your object from any uh, random angle, it looks like it's in perspective. The parts that are closer to you are larger than the parts that are further apart. You can see the grid is also shrinking to infinity around the cube. You can force it to go into perspective mode at any time by clicking on this, this little grid here. When it shows a grid in perspective, you're in perspective mode. When it shows the grid as, as a square, that's called orthographic mode. And you may also not have noticed, because it was kind of hidden here, that when you viewed the object on end using one of the colored dots, it also forces the viewport into uh, orthographic mode, and uh, you can always change that at any time. And as, as I mentioned, it's, it's hard to tell when the cube is uh, viewed um, directly above. It's hard to tell if it's in perspective mode or not. So those are, are uh, these controls in your viewport and the different parts of the viewport that you need in order to find your way around an object that you are working on. And that's it for today.